Hello, you're watching a Unipro Eugene podcast. Do you need to share data such as sequences with your colleagues in a lab? In this episode, you'll learn how you can easily do that with Eugene. One of the advantages of the Eugene approach to shared storage implementation is that it's easy to install. All you need for using shared bioinformatics storage is to have a MySQL server installed and minimally configured. After that, you run Eugene, connect to the server, and initialize your storage with several mouse clicks, making it ready to use. The storage is displayed in the project in the same manner as local documents. You can organize the data in your storage using the folders approach. Create the folders hierarchy for ordering your data, and import new files there. There are flexible graphical tools for importing data into storage. For example, you can import a folder with all its files into storage. The folder's hierarchy will be repeated in the storage in this case. The folders and imported objects can always be renamed, removed, or replaced using drag and drop. If you want to work with the data locally, you can export the needed objects to a local drive. It is possible to use the storage for keeping data of all types supported by Eugene. Moreover, when Eugene remotely accesses large data, such as next generation sequencing data, it loads only the required part of the data. This opens another interesting application of using shared storage. If imported NGS data are stored on a common server in a lab, Researchers from the lab are able to work with the data, for example, browse them in the Eugene Assembly Browser, without the need to copy the data to their computers or laptops. Because of the special format used to store NGS data in Eugene, it is possible to see the NGS data coverage and quickly navigate to the most covered regions without full downloading, export the consensus sequence, and use other features of the Assembly Browser. Based on the technology described in this episode, we've organized a public storage with commonly used data. The storage is open for read-only access. For now, it keeps DNA sequences of several popular genomes such as human, mouse, common fruit fly, and hundreds of plasmid sequences. You can use this data from a Eugene instance. Use the Connection Manager dialog to connect the storage. Thank you for watching the podcast.